Hello everyone, welcome to our installation guide video. In this video, we will demonstrate the installation process of Tabans M100 T215 commercial and industrial energy storage system. Before starting the installation, prepare the necessary tools and materials. This will help ensure a smooth installation process. Front and rear dimensions will meet the standard requirements of the project site. Do not smaller than these dimensions ventilation, safety and convenience. Please check the outer packaging for any abnormalities or discrepancies in the equipment model. Use a hammer to open the wooden crate and remove the battery module. Use a hammer to open the opener cabinet door to take out the installation parts supplied with the box. Check the delivery parts supplied with the box against the packing list and account and check whether there are any missing parts. Before installing the battery, ensure that the power breaker is set to OFF. When handling the battery, do not remove any protective components on the battery terminals, such as protective covers or waterproof caps. Secure the battery pack firmly before starting the forklift. Align the battery with the slot and install the batteries onto the battery rack. Secure the battery in place with M6 screws and necessary fasteners. Open the wiring hole. Pass the protective ground wire through the hole and connect it to the grounding copper bar inside the cabinet. Remove all front panels of the distribution compartment. Connect the orange power lines in series, linking the positive terminal of one module to the negative of the next and vice versa. Connect the black signal lines. The J1 of each module is connected to the J2 port of the next module 
and finally connect it to the BMU port of the high voltage box. Battery module to high voltage box connection. The negative terminal of module BAT1A is connected to the negative terminal of the high voltage box. And the positive terminal of module BAT80 is connected to the positive terminal of the high voltage box. The cable harness below the grid circuit breaker is connected to the grid, and the cable harness below the load circuit breaker is connected to the line. A B, C, and Y is pulled out from the bottom of the cabinet through the wiring hole in sequence, yellow, green, red, blue. Check the power lines and signal lines that have been connected to ensure that they are securely and correctly connected. Check all wiring connections have been completed in the correct order. Before powering on the battery, ensure that all switches, circuit breakers, and the PB switch on the high voltage box panel are turned off. Close the QFI switch. The relay inside the high voltage box will actuate. The pre-charge and total negative relays will close on the upper computer. And after a few seconds, the relays will actuate for the second time. The pre-charge relay will disconnect, and the total positive relay will close, completing the battery system power on process. Dot dot. Close the bed switch and grid switch. Provide power from the grid side. Log into the operator account on the display screen with the password 123456. After logging in, click power on on the home page. The PCS will start and the entire system will boot up successfully. Log into the operator account on the display screen with the password 123456. Switch to the home page and click shut down. Turn off the QF1. QF2, QF3, QF4, BAT, and grid switches in sequence. In case of an emergency, press the emergency stop switch to shut down pair immediately. 